about Vanessa's Crash Course US History, and today we will be talking about one of the most secretive and controversial events in United States history, the Manhattan Project. Ooh, Mr. Hess, Mr. Hess, that did happen in Manhattan, right? Oh, me from the past, don't worry, you're not that stupid anymore. Actually, the Manhattan Project took place in several different American cities. The bombs were built in Chicago and tested in New Mexico, but little did they know how much destruction they would soon cause. <laughs> Oh, it's time for the mystery document? The rules here are simple. I get the author of the mystery document correct, and I don't get shocked with the shock pen. I get it wrong, and I get shocked. This better be a good one, Stan. The real impact of the creation of the atomic bomb and atomic weapons. To understand that one has to look further back Look, I think, to the times when physical science was growing in the days of the Renaissance, and when the threat that science offered was felt so deeply throughout the Christian world. The analogy, of course, is not perfect. You may even wish to think of the days in the last century when the theories of evolution seemed a threat to the values by which men live. The analogy is not perfect because there is nothing in atomic weapons. There is certainly nothing that we have done here, or in the physics or chemistry that immediately precede our work here, in which any revolutionary ideas were involved. It is not an idea. It is a development in reality. But it has in common with the early days of physical science the fact that the very existence of science is threatened and its values threatened. Dang it, Stan, these are always so difficult. I'm just, I don't know, I'm just gonna guess and say Robert J. Oppenheimer in his speech at Los Alamos? Yes! <laughs> Robert J. Oppenheimer was one of the directors of the Manhattan Project and actually one of the people who ended up testing the bombs in New Mexico. For the Manhattan Project, the United States government recruited some of the top scientists in the world at the time. Albert Einstein was one of them and they also brought in several others not known to the public due to the project's secrecy. The Manhattan Project was essentially the United States' attempt to give themselves an edge in World War II. The secret military project was triggered by fears that Nazi Germany would build and use a nuclear weapon during the war. The United States also contemplated invading Japan during World War II, but decided against it due to the severe casualties that would have occurred on both sides. In the end, from the opinion of the United States, the use of the atomic bomb in the war was justified because it resulted in fewer casualties on both sides. On August 6, 1945, the Enola Gay dropped the first atomic bomb on Hiroshima, Japan. Three days later, on August 9, 1945, the United States bomber, the boxcar, dropped a second atomic bomb on the city of Nagasaki, Japan. By the end of 1945, an estimated 200,000 people had died in the two cities. With the creation and detonation of the atomic bombs, the United States changed warfare forever. Three years later, the Soviet Union developed their own atomic bomb, beginning the tensions that would eventually lead to the Cold War. Thanks for watching. <laughs>